Today we're going to have what we'll call the Redneck Adventure. Hey, Kurt Curtis coming at you from the Full Octane Garage and today is going to be an exciting day. We've been looking for a four post lift for quite some time and we came across, strangely enough, one that's about four blocks away from my house that's available used. It is made by Direct Lift. It's one of the smaller lifts. It has uh, posts uh, that are just a little under seven feet tall and for my garage, which actually is only nine and a half feet tall that's going to be perfect so we got to thinking how are we going to move this thing because this thing's pretty heavy it's about 1800 pounds in its entirety and so i broke off to youtube and i looked around and i saw some people moving them as a whole one piece lift all assembled using a u-haul trailer and actually it was a pretty small U-Haul trailer, a shorter one than I would have actually thought about using. And so I didn't have a U-Haul trailer, I didn't have an actual trailer that was uh, an open trailer, so I decided to put some feelers out to some of my friends in the car community. And one of my friends, Paul, comes back and says, hey, I've got a dually GMC pickup truck with an 11 foot bed and it's 90 inches wide and I needed something that was going to be less than 94 inches wide because my plan was going to be pretty interesting. We're going to use some redneck ingenuity and we're going to raise the lift up. We're going to back the truck up underneath it, let the lift down on the bed of the truck, and then we're going to ratchet strap the legs up and we're going to drive about four blocks. So we only need about six inches of clearance on the legs and it's a little wider than it probably should be for DOT standards, but so be it. So, meanwhile, as you will see from this video, it's a very candid, uh, unedited for the most part video on our process from start to finish of actually taking the truck over, putting it under the lift, strapping it all in, getting it to the new location, and unloading it. So we hope you enjoy what's coming up because I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of interesting language and probably a couple of bloopers to go along with it. Just in time for, for weight because I'm that guy. Okay, so just stand on this back section. Look out. Don't want to kill yourself. Yep. We just need some ass. We don't need a smart ass. Oh, well, you got the wrong guy. I understand. <laughs> that is amazing. That is so handy, yeah. I need to go up a little bit. I mean, down a little bit. some fat this here. Yeah. All right. So Kurt's adding a lift to his upper garage, and this is a lift. So the idea is to move it assembled <laughs> right down the street to where he lives. That'll be entertaining. Pull up a little bit. Well, I'm worried about this going down. My bad. We'll just cut those corner pieces off. <laughs> there we go. We got, yeah, we got. Yeah, five He 
wanted someone's ass on top of this. So that's going to be me. The world's shittiest amusement ride. <laughs> you mean I paid for this? <laughs> All right, we're ready to pick the truck up. Still holding it in. How's he want to get the straps it's underneath? Easier, it? yeah. Just strap that to the. Uh... Oh, underneath the front. Oh, what are you thinking? Where are we get these legs jacked up? No, we're gonna get them up. Just so we're all on the same understanding. If it starts to go, we're gonna keep on driving. <laughs> 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 you now own a lift. <laughs> Underneath the lift. Then we're gonna lower the lift down to the truck, which we've already got. And then strap the lift to the truck. And then lower it so that the legs come up to get ground clearance. The OT approved. Run. Just hit back up, hit the brakes. That's all you gotta do. Well, it may unload itself at the bottom of the driveway. Maybe I'll put a short one. Leave that one there. <laughs> this, this is the spot right here, though. Right here. Huh? Huh? Oh, we just made it. He's on the road now? Yeah. Holy cow. What do you think about that, Alan? How many hillbillies does Shit. it take to move that? <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, the width is a little rough. Almost want to be in front of him. Nah, it's okay. Well, he'll make it. He'll manage. Hopefully nobody's test driving a car up this road. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a little wave. Hey. <laughs> What'd you just say? I think we can drive this to Bowling Green. <laughs> James, we need you to stay in the back though. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hold it down. Just hold on to that strap. Looks like the <laughs> the truck was the perfect width for it. Yeah, it was. That, I, mean, never, I never would have thought that. Is that me? Yeah. This and I'm the one doing something dangerous. <laughs> I think we got the hard part. Oh, hard part. Oh, look at he's coming. He's coming with the old car too. That's funny. Why? Oh, cool. Yeah, I guess, I guess he's home, so he's. he's Neighbor's yeah. car. Oh, I love that. And what did we call that? You remember? It's a catfish. Oh, that son of a gun. When the turbo spools up and kicks in, he says it, 
it'll get loose in third gear. It doesn't weigh anything. Put a stick to your tire. All right, this was the, the other question we had here. Uh, you're okay, go ahead. <laughs> Don't stop unless it sounds expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right out here in the street. Yeah, as it starts sliding off the back of the truck. <laughs> Back to the hotel. <laughs> no, I've got them here. Oh, good. Yeah, I brought them. Yeah, the plan is just to get it close enough and dump it. And dump put it. The dollies on. Yeah. Every time we do something like this, it's like the weather and all, we go down to the, it's like a TV movie. You get down to that very last second. He's too tall. You're looking good so far. Yeah, you're good, Claire. Oh, yeah, keep going. Hold on. I'm saying no. Yeah. You want me to put my fat ass on that truck so it'll go under? Is that what you're saying, Kurt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man, we got It'll be the, the detail afterwards. I spent an hour trying to get my damn uh, trailer washer running. It doesn't pull that garage door cord off. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Yep. Safe and sound. All right. So all we did was plug the lift back in, get power, and then we raised the bed, and it lifts it up off the truck. There it goes. Everything's going now. Look at that. Okay, now that all the excitement's over, we'll show you what the final lift looks like. We actually had some transport wheels with the lift that we were able to maneuver the lift into the proper location in the garage so that we could drive the Corvette up on it, do some test fits, and we actually at the highest uh, point have about uh, four inches of extra clearance between the garage door and the car. That's the lowest point that we uh, are having to deal with. And we have plenty of room under the lift to either put the NSX or the Porsche 911. So we hope you found this video informative, probably a little entertaining, and you probably look at us in hindsight and say, gosh, those guys were a little crazy. And we were, we had fun doing it. And to be honest, I'd do it all over again. So thanks for being with us. Uh, please leave some comments. If you have questions about anything that we did in this video, Again, we're not expert movers here, but we had a lot of fun doing it. Thank goodness for good friends and uh, a couple of video cameras. So come back often, subscribe to our channel, leave lots of comments, and tell your friends about the crazy stuff that we do, because we're going to have a lot of fun at the Full Octane Garage.